It was just over 20 years ago that an aeronautical engineer in Los Angeles doodling around came up with the idea for a new toy, and it's now become an American tradition, the Frisbee, and they sell about 20 million of these every year. And Frisbees are no longer just used for fun. They're the basis for a host of competitions. Players can compete for distance or accuracy, the longest time a throw stays in the air, or in style events. Dallasite Mark Bottles has been throwing for six years now and hopes to make his mark in professional competition. I got quite a few throws. I, I throw a sidearm, underhand, overhead, between my legs, behind my back. I catch. Uh, behind my back, between my legs, up in the air, between my legs, turn around, jump in the air, catch it behind my back. Uh, How much time do you spend practicing with your frisbee? Uh, approximately 18 to 20 hours a week. From, uh, you think that's necessary? If you want to make it professionally, yes sir it is. The Guinness Book of World Records distance champ is Bob May of San Francisco. A practicing attorney, May won the first competition he entered eight years ago and has been competing ever since, although his full-time job has limited his activities. I do distance and something called MTA, or maximum time aloft, where you throw it into the wind and measure the time that you can keep the disc up in the air. And that sort of calls for a good distance throw. It calls for real, really good accuracy, because you've got to gauge the wind, get your angle just right uh, so that you get the longest flight. It's sort of a big right curve. And I enjoy that. I think that's probably the most aesthetic uh, event I get into.